As the Book of Mormon slowly rolled to a close, the words ran out of stuff to say and stalling, I'm stalling, don't even begin to capture the sheer volume of nothing that this book contains in its final pages. But Joseph Smith has a unique ability to say nothing in a damn confusing manner and we'll be damned if we're going to leave you hanging. So we're pleased to present one final installment of Mormon Peace Theater. Last time on Mormon Peace Theater. Literally everyone died, remember? What the fuck else could one possibly write about in a book where all the characters are dead? Wait a second, Eli, I, I said that last week. Eli! Uh, what's up, N-Dog? Stop trying to make N-Dog work right now. Okay, pin in that. We don't need to make a decision. Uh, what's up? Uh, well, this is last week's script. No, no, this is the second book in the Book of Mormon that takes place after all the characters in the last book die. Really? Really. Okay, uh, as you were. You got it, N-Dog. Hey, everyone, it's me, Morona. If you remember, I was hidden away whilst all the world was torn asunder. I'm back for one more holy book, tell you some really important stuff. So, listen up. Uh, washing, washing your hands is good. Hey, uh, Joe? Yeah? Look, uh, me and the missus really appreciate you, uh, staying with us while you finish your holy book, but looks like that's wrapping up, so we were just wondering... Wondering? Wondering when you'll be, you know, moving on. Oh, uh, I just remembered some really important stuff that if you don't know it, you're going to go to hell for sure. Hondo P. I'm sorry, you were saying? Never. Never mind. Hey, boys, it's me, Jesus. Remember the time when I was, like, talking to all of you and I gave you all the ability to give people the Holy Spirit? That's, like, super important. Right, yeah, but aren't, aren't we all dead? Yeah. How is Moroni relating this story? It doesn't make sense. Uh, oops. And so I told her, bitch, I am not going to do this over Instagram. If you want to talk mm -hmm. to me. Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Oh, uh, what? It's me again? Oh, right. Um, yeah. oh, okay. Uh, also, you are all priests now. We're priests now? Yep. And if you want to make more priests, this is important. Uh, you go to another guy and you're like, hey, you're a priest now. And then you, you know, boop. Um, is the boop part of it? No, silly. I was just, just giving you a boop. Boop. It's right there. Thank, thank you? Now you gotta blow it off my finger and make a wish. Uh, uh <clears throat> Jesus? Seriously, me again. In the same, okay, um... How about communion? Uh, like you say, uh, I take this bread and I eat it and it's my body and yum, 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 delicious. I love Jesus. Uh, that sounds like a worse version of an existing thing. Yeah, I'm thinking of calling it atheistically speaking. Okay, that's just mean. He doesn't listen. Also communion. See, remember this time that they were going to switch back to me. Didn't forget. So... You take the wine and you drink it and you say you love me and you're done. Good? Good. Say, uh, Joe, don't we Mormons not drink alcohol? Oh, shit. Yeah. Right, so you take the... Water. And you drink the... Water. And then you say you love me and you're done. Good? Good. Hello and welcome to our two-step baptism course. Okay. Step one, contrition. <laughs> like you mean it. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. And step two, dunk. End of baptism instructions. And lo, any time three members of the church do speak against a fourth, he is excommunicated. Pastor, you gotta come help us. Dave stabbed Brett. We, we, he did. We saw it. We both saw it. Oh, okay, so... Just the two of you saw it? Yeah. I mean, there's blood everywhere, and I don't know if he's going to... Ah, 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 ah. What's the rule? 
Three people. Three people. Three people, exactly. Oh, uh, Brett saw it. Uh, doesn't count. He's dead now. Dear son, it's me, your dad. You are Maroney. Just writing you a letter and not because you are out of stuff to say, just uh, wanted to let you know a few things. Let's see. Uh, Native Americans are gross. I am not a Satanist. Super best friend promise. And, um, you know, throw a couple bucks to the poor here and there. Believe in Jesus and text your mother. Dear son, I almost forgot. People who baptize babies are gross. Not naming names, but anyone who does that is a douche cano of the first order. I mean, what do you do with a baby that's in hell anyway? Welcome to hell. You will taste the wrath. God damn it. Was that another baby? Dave? Dave? I got another baby? Seriously? Is yours from Oklahoma City, too? Um, I think so, yeah. What What do you think happened? I don't know. Anyway, you know what to do. Take, take its candy. Yeah, anyway, that would be weird. Love, Dad, who will probably not die in a giant war in a second. Was that an Oklahoma City bombing joke? It was, yes. Huh. Dear Maroney, see, told you I wouldn't die. Anyway, things are really bad here. Oh, boy, are they bad. They're making wives eat their husbands and children eat their fathers. These dirty, dirty Lamanites. Kids, dinner. Oh, man. Dad again? Now, Ooh. you listen to me, oh. young man. When I was your age, if I didn't eat every bite of my father, I didn't leave the table. There are kids in China with no father to eat at all, so be grateful. What's a China? Never mind. Now pass the testicles. Anyway, yeah, things are pretty bad here, but if everyone had believed in Jesus, they wouldn't be eating their dad's balls. Toodles, Mormon. Sorry about that, dads, right? Anyway, uh, looks like it's time for a summary montage or something. Am I right? Clip episode? Huh? That'd be fun. You guys remember Alma? Gaw. That was fun, right? You remember that character? Pizza bagels. Right? Another good one. That was good. I'm Jesus. Oh, what fun we had. Anyway, remember, if you believe in Jesus, uh, you get superpowers. Power one, the ability to teach wisdom. And if you say you found it dented, they'll give you a discount. Huh. Yeah. Power two, the ability to teach knowledge. And that's how the moon was made. Huh. Power three, healing powers. Hello, sir. Would you like to hear about how... Oh, thank God. You guys are Mormons, right? Uh, uh yeah, yes. We are. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to get in here. Someone stabbed my friend. He needs your help. Oh. That is uh, not we actually don't... how it is. And he's dead. Okay. Power four, working mighty miracles. Is this your card? It mighty. Bew. Bew. Power five. The ability to prophecy. Dude, watch out. You're going to step in that shit. No, I'm not. Mormon. Power six. The ability to speak all languages. Je n'ai aucune idée de ce que je dis maintenant. Power seven. The ability to understand all languages. What? Tu aurais le droit être un mélu maman. Le boo. Le boo. Oh, fuck. Uh, this is the end of the book. Um, uh, okay. Well, you know what they say. Uh, penny saved is, damn it. The Lord, all right, hear me out. He's like cherries, because 
No, he's not the cherries. You're the cherries. And he's like a guy who makes cherry stuff, like a cherrier, if that's a word. Um, and it, anyway, uh, the, the end. And on that anticlimactic note, we're going to close out the book that's haunted our nightmares for over a year now. We hope you've enjoyed Mormon Peace Theater. <laughs>